How's it going, everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky. Welcome to the channel. And as you can see here, we've got a new diorama base. So this is the Dead Tree 112 diorama base. Uh, it comes in this box here. And we're going to hop right in and take a close look at it. So if you like seeing stuff like this, all the different action figures and collectibles and toys and stuff like that reviews, put a little pew on the side. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. You know the drill. So let's get straight into this. You'll see it right on top here. Got the styrofoam hectic. Now I'm very bad about the styrofoam. I always tear it up and it gets on everything. Uh, let me do this the cheating. I'm already tearing up that styrofoam. Alright, so you see here, it has tape. I've already cut the tape. I'm going to lift the tape up. Sorry about that disgusting noise. You'll see the actual stand comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the plastic out of this so you're not wasting your time watching me do that. And I'll get this set up and ready to present and we'll be right back. All right, got it out of the box. We'll take a look here. It also comes with a little shield you can put up. And then put some little background wherever you want it to be. You can put that. It looks great all together. Definitely made out of type of resin or plastic. I do believe it is hollow in here. You get the little feet to make it easier to stand on. But all in all, it looks great. So let me get you a closer view. Get that. Nope. So you'll see the shield. Not an actual shield. I mean, you can put stuff on the back if you wanted to. Good detail. This thing looks great. I think this is going to be a great addition to anyone's dioramas. And you kind of get an idea of the size of it right there. But but let's also take a look at the weight, because you probably want to know how much is going to weigh on your shelf. Uh, you are looking at, you see that? One pound, 6.4 ounces. So that's how much weight's going to be on your shelf just from this alone. So not terrible. Should not break your shelf unless you just got it loaded down with everything. And the size, let's see the width. This thing runs about nine inches wide, uh, almost eight inches tall, a little over seven and a half tall, and the, uh, I guess from here across, so about uh, almost 11 inches wide when you count this little limb on the tree here. So it gives you an idea if you're buying this, what exactly you're getting yourself into. Now, it's obviously made to go well with uh, 112 scale figures. So if you want to put the skeletons on there, you can have them sitting down or standing on it, anything like that. And it will look pretty decent, especially with that shield behind it. But I think that if you take out the shield, that it should go very well with your 118 scale figures. I feel like the tree in the background scales better with these. is almost as big as the person, so that kind of makes more sense in my mind. It's not such a small tree, so I think, even though it says 112, I do think 118, it looks better with. Right we'll get scaffold on here. It does look decent with 112, but I do feel 118 is probably, you get a better diorama pose out of it. So I'm probably going to use this with my 118 figures. If I can get them to stand on it. Oh, cooperate, buddy. This one always falls down. As you can see, I've broken the little halo off of it. Because he's fallen off my shelf multiple times because he's eaten all the stuff. So, yeah, I think these look better with 118. 
I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're interested in learning more about the channel, feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook social medias. Uh, here you can find more about what's going on in my personal life as well as behind the scenes of the channel. If you are interested in the gaming content, I do stream to Twitch before I upload any of the gaming content to YouTube. And if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, any contests I enter, I put my friends' links in there so we can both get some bonus entries off of that.